Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Darissa Rain, aka Riri, and today's video is all about Self-Care Sunday. All right, beauty, so this Sunday, I wanted to focus on just making sure that my skin is protected because we will be spending the day in the pool. Um, so it's gonna be a short and sweet. This is literally what I've been using the last five days. Um, and I have my final thoughts and consensus on the Bobbi Brown foundation that you guys would have seen a few days back. Um, I've used it five days now. I absolutely love it. So I'm just gonna be showing you what I'll be putting on my face and then we're just gonna slap it all on. This is just my way. I do not like actually spraying sunscreen on my face. I don't like how it feels. I don't like the texture. I don't like the weird kind of cast it leaves on my skin. Um, so I just, I don't like it. I don't prefer it, okay. Um, so I'm gonna be going in first with my Hemp's CBD Thirsty Hydrating Facial Moisturizer, SPF of 30. And we're just literally gonna slap it on. And I think that this works so well. Um, also everything kind of pretty much stays super waterproof too, which I love. It also gives me a little coverage to the skin. So then I just feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more confident. You know, if we need to go run to the store or something like that, kind of in between swimming and stuff, I still feel comfortable enough. You know what I mean? Um, I do pull it down onto my neck. And then I spray regular sunscreen, you know, on my body. <laughs> but this doesn't have a super strong kind of overwhelming scent to it or anything like that. Um, and I've used it again. I've used this kind of this combination for the last five days, and I am really enjoying it a lot. So I always like to give my moisturizer a few minutes just to kind of sink into the skin. I also recommend doing this at least like 15 to 20 minutes prior to sun exposure. I'm not going to forget my ears or the tips of my ears. <laughs> and when my undercut is like super freshly cut, like right now it's grown out a little bit. Um, when Brett first does it for me, I will also take my hands and kind of go through that area so that my scalp right there doesn't get burnt. Just a tip, just FYI. And then I'm gonna put the rest across my hands. So I'm gonna let this dry for just a second and then we will be our me. All right, beauties, I am back. I did turn my light on because the sun is trying to go in and out on me. So hopefully you can see well. Um, so you can see it really does sink into the skin beautifully. Again, it's super comfortable. It's very, very lightweight, which I also appreciate. So if you have not tried the Little Hemp's one, I really enjoy it. Now, I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown. This is the Skin Longwear Fluid Powder Foundation. Sounds insane, sounds nuts. I was on a high, low, hate, love. Yeah, the very first time I tried it, as y'all saw, um, I think I just honestly tried to build it too much. I also think maybe the primer had something to do with it because every day since then I've just used these together and I've, I've loved it. Um, Brett has even complimented me on my skin and again, even though I look matte and I stay matte in the summertime, I actually appreciate that. And I did not think that I would. You guys know I'm typically all about, you know, glowy, juicy, delicious, you know, sun-kissed, a little bit of, you know, luminosity coming through. But I also don't like in the summertime when I do use something that's super luminous and super dewy, that after a few hours, I look a little oily sometimes or it's not as flattering on the skin. There's a difference for me between greasy and dewy. So because of that, and because of the fact that this is sweat proof, for real sweat proof, I'm a big bitch, okay, and it's hot here, um, it's sweat proof, it is pull proof, it is everything. I, I'm obsessed with it now, and I cannot believe I'm saying that, but I love it. And I honestly think I'm still gonna try it in the winter just to see what I feel about it, but for spring, summer, I will 100% be repurchasing this again. So I'm going in with the shade Warm Beige. You do have to shake it up well and less is more. Um, it does say buildable. I have found that it just does not work for me to try to build it up. Um, of course, it doesn't mean that it's not. It just is not on my particular skin. So I actually go straight in with the brush 
and I instead of kind of stippling I also have found that that was not working the best for this foundation um, I don't really stipple I go in and literally do a little thin sheer layer sorry if you hear Abby's truck <laughs> so I do a thin sheer layer over the eyelids over the entire complexion getting up into my ears as well and then of course slightly down the neck and I work pretty quickly as you can see and again less is more because it does mattify and then even the other day I was like I don't really feel like this has much coverage at all but it was because I was kind of judging it based upon first putting it on so I'm gonna get real close again And as it sets, and you'll see it, and I obviously noticed that as well, um, as it sets, the coverage does start to build up because it starts to set and mattify and set itself. So again, very thin, sheer layer, and you can see I'm working pretty quickly. I'm not going in and stippling and doing all the other stuff that I typically do with my foundations because that just, for me personally, does not work with this foundation. And again, kind of before it has time to set, and you can see just how little I'm using. I mean, the very, very smallest amount. <laughs> um, and again, it's perfect coverage for myself. You guys know that I am a more like sheer light type of coverage person, um, but I just, I don't interrupt it too much once I place it down. I leave it like this, um, and then I don't get that kind of weird bunching that was happening the other day or anything like that. It is gorgeous on the skin, you guys. And we were in the pool yesterday from 2 p.m.-ish, 2 or 3, to at least 10 or 11 o'clock last night. Through cooking out, um, I had put it on way before we even got in the pool, this combination. And we went to Walmart. We got groceries. I mean, we, look, I was hot. I was sweaty. And it did not budge. So for Brett to even say something about it, honey, you know it's good. Now, I don't know what shade to use because yesterday when I used my medium, it kind of seemed a little light. But this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder. I prefer the Illumination one, and this does have a SPF of 50. This is the shade Medium. And I'm going to try this shade, but I did have to kind of mix and do a little bit of tan on top of it yesterday. So as you can see, I hit pan. I love this stuff so much. It is what I use in the summertime. And I'm going in also with a It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Ball Brush. And I'm just going to load up the brush. Again, this is a foundation, so it's going to offer coverage. And then it's going to set everything even more into place. And it just all works beautifully together. And I am telling you, this is a good way to self-care, protect your skin, protect your largest organ on your body, guys. And it's super, super easy. Of course, if I was not in here running my mouth, I would have been done uh, a long time ago. It literally, I throw it on. Um, yesterday when we went out, I did put on a thin layer of mascara. Um, I'm not going anywhere today. Literally just going to be in the pool. So I'm not going to put mascara or anything on today. And then I'm actually gonna go in with just a little bit of the shade Tan. This is the regular one, not the Illumination one. I don't like this one quite as much, um, but I did use a little bit of it to last year. And this just gives me the extra little bit of warmth that I need, but I think the shade by itself is would probably be a little too deep. So again, kind of loading up the brush, making sure I get my ears, the back of the neck, all that kind of stuff. All right, so everything gets blended in, darlings. And then I will spray my actual sunblock SPF all over my actual body, because again, I don't like it on my face. Um, and my favorite are called Sunbum. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called, but um, I get them BOGO all the time from Ulta. Um, I'll put a picture right here of what they look like, but they have SPF 50, SPF 30, they have tannin oils, they have all kinds of different stuff. But Last but not least, we are going to protect the lips. This is also by Hemp's. Y'all know they're one of my favorite skincare type of brands. This is the CBD Lip Service Nourishing Lip Conditioner with an SPF of 15. It smells incredible. 
and it feels incredible. It's just like a, a cool little nourishing oil. Hopefully you can see that. And standard little lip wand. Oh, it smells so good. It almost smells pineapple-y, but I load up my lips. Now, of course, this you would reapply. Obviously, it's not lasting through the swimming pool. <laughs> but I like to have everything protected, including my lips. Um, and that is it. Literally, if I was not talking to y'all, everything gets slapped on. Um, this lasts all day. I don't spray it. I don't set it. Nothing like that. And again, I've done this for several days in a row now, being in the sun, being in the pool. And y'all, I look pretty fucking fly by the end of the night. Okay. And I will show before and afters. I will do an up close shot of now. And then later on tonight at 10 or 11 or 12 or whatever time we come in the house, um, I will also take shots then. Um, but it works beautifully. And again, I have not gotten burnt or anything like that. I tan pretty quickly. So the SPF that's in these products, it works, you know, pretty well for my skin. Um, as you know, every Sunday, it is a collab with my unique squad sisters, Tony and Patrice. So please go check them out as well. If you watch their videos and you're feeling a connection, you're feeling a vibe, you like what you see, then tap subscribe. It's free and it will make them super, super happy and me as well. But that is it, beauties. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I like to try to switch it up for the self-care Sunday. I believe that self-care can be done in so many different forms, whether it's yoga, deep breathing, meditation, coloring, you know, whatever the case may be. So this is my version of self-care Sunday for today. If you are still here, thank you. I appreciate you. And I would love if you consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you be part of my beauty family here on YouTube. And please always remember to be your own best beautiful. Bye beauties.